Hello everyone, and this is the off-road fire truck. It is one of my mocks that has been sitting around way before my channel even started. So, and also, I'll explain in this video why I have this brick separator. And for this video, I'm using the the um, firefighter from from the 4x4 fire truck. Just the only difference is he has red gloves. I was thinking he should have been the driver because he looks like he's very, very inexperienced. I mean, he feels like he's in very... Ex he feels like he's in, he has good experience with the fire trucks and stuff. So let's go for what the centerpiece of this mock, the off-road fire truck. What I did here was it was on a it was just on a black base plate, and wh while I was building this, this was amazing how you could just make a base plate and just put the bricks and you and I basically disguised it. There's no molds, no anything to build on, just a normal plate. And also, on the back over here, I put, let me let you guys zoom in there, on the back over here, I I put these pieces right here, just to give it some detail of, like, where the water pipes would go, so they, for the hose to work and stuff. And another cool thing, a cool feature is, to show it off, I made this easily like this, so it can... So I could just like show it off. It's a, like a show off feature. And that's how it would look basically without that piece. Put that back on. And for the back, it's the way the back was made. It's more of a pickup truck than, a, than just a truck. So this thing is functional. It can go back like that. That should be the correct amount it should go. And... Also, if there's if the truck can't go any higher to get to the fire, or uh, because of the way the road is, because it's off road, so it's so it can go on the Mother Nature's road, should I say? So what I have here is this cart, and also, what you what I can what I do here is I put a little feature where you can use your hands and the whole hose can come out. And a mini, f sorry, and a mini figure, like, oops, a mini figure like this can use it. Um, battling the flames, da na na na. Yeah, you get the idea, guys. And let's take that off there and wind it right back up. Oopsie, it's easy as one, two, three. Actually, I managed to keep this little cart in the same color scheme as the truck, as you can see here. And also, I put in this was the a container. I believe it's from a fire set. This is supposed to be a bottle of water to give to any survivors. Put that right back in there. And these are supposed to represent handles so the figures can push it. And, and I also used some 1980 wheels because they were the best type of wheels for this small little cart. And that's a back view of, this is a back view of what the space is. It's a, it's a four by six space for the, for, for the cart. And you can also put people in there. Here, just to show you guys, I'll put a guy in here. And he could just sit in there having a good, good, good time with his friends. <laughs> I like saying friends that way. And you can also put his gear in there. Any fire gear and stuff. And I also put a... And that's what the front view looks like. And also put a license plate. And probably some of you Lego fans, if you notice, I upside down build this thing. Oopsie. So now the tires... I just... I do know I could have just made it simpler, but... I mean, this suits it more... For the mock, I do know this wheel is smaller than that one. This is a much bigger wheel, but it works for me, and I just like the way I build it. And yes, there is a cheaper way to make it, but it won't look like the way this looks. And also, what I did here is I want to give it a 1950s look with these lights angled, but it works out nice. 
and I also made it oops, I also made it smooth over here if you can see right there I made it much more much smoother instead of having it like a brick I because I, Lego bricks are very square and now here's the part where the tool comes in this not a lot of Lego sets have this so I decided to put this in one of my mocks it goes like I mean you use the end of it and right there boom shakalaka the engine is there I used the simple Lego engine to do that and this is all that's the hood of the engine and it goes right back on like that like so and also for the lights as you can see right over here I used the fire truck logo I want to keep some fire truck logo and I think this is the old fire truck logo but let's just focus on these lights over here I made 10 versions of these lights and out of those 10 versions this one suit the car the I mean the truck the most and also on the sides I put a axe over here and on the other side a hatchet there's a good view of the hatchet if some of you are unfamiliar with it because the hatchet was used to be used in some Lego sets I think they're still used to this day because it was part of the off-road fire truck series and that's what it looks like on the ba bottom and you also have some lights here so if people are coming and walking they could see that that truck is coming nearby because this thing will probably be going at a fast speed and I also used the 1980s grill piece and it, I think this was a 1x6 so it can go on normal Lego road and it looks nice with the yellow and we also have this slope here the 1x4 slope and on the side over here we have these little yellow lights right over here and I use that just more like for a caution light and for work for them to work with the lights and right over here we have the exhaust right there just the exhaust of the engine and also I can't show you guys right now but as you can see I have this little piece here to tow away a vehicle that got on fire or any vehicle needed in help and there's also some blue lights here on the side so when the car stops you see those blue lights and there and they also help the firemen to fight the fires and also probably some of you are raving right now the interior this thing comes up pops off modular style I wanted to do so we have in there is a let me get let you guys zoom in there what we have in here is a yellow seat and uh, what we have in there is a yellow seat and a yellow steering wheel. And also in there we have a red, a dark red Lego trophy p p piece. The reason I chose dark red was because the fireman is the fireman of the year. He got the fireman of the year award. <laughs> that was a nice thing. And also a front view of it looks really good with the, just a nice good front view. You can see that trophy. And it doesn't interfere. I could show you guys right now the minifigure going in right here. Got to put his hands down a little. Rest him back. And there you go. He's in his truck. And now you're probably wondering, can his seat go in right? Um, well, I mean his helmet. Can his helmet go, be able to, can this thing go over his helmet? And I think so. Yep, it does. There you guys go. That's it. And that's really it for the custom mock. So, and also the lever. I The way you have to put it in, I put it in angled like this so it looks like it's part of the truck. But for now, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.